Hey guys, it's time again to do another milestone calculator, and this time it is for Emma Frost, who is of course the Lady of the Marauders, who will uh, take your Alliance War defense to the next level. Um, right now, the only change I really see from the Symbiote milestones is just simply they added a very expensive 2.475 million milestones to the high roller one. They didn't even throw any catalysts or shards or anything in this one. It's just one extra shard of Emma, which I find kind of ridiculous. The other two, of course, Save the World and World Warrior have not changed. Um, so let's go over to the spreadsheet. I made a new one. You'll see the link in the description below. Feel free to go and copy it and use it for yourself. But let me walk you through how to use it and that will help you in guiding your uh, expectations on what to expect for your milestone payout. So just like Symbiote Spider-Man milestones is the same type of sheet for the most part. I've only added a few little tweaks and additions to it, but let me show you. So over here we have the prediction calculator. Um, now that there's six potential shards per gold milestone every day, the actual max is potentially 220 shards. However, if you do the math, and I did, <laughs> you need <laughs> 69,300,000 gold over these 28 days to spend to get max milestones every single day. Uh, I don't plan on doing that. I don't know if any of you do. Uh, if you happen to be doing that, well, I don't know why you would because you're better off just buying her offers. So I just, I don't know. But if you do end up, you know, going high on your spending one day, maybe you unlocked a new character, you want to level them up, at least you're rewarded with something else instead of nothing, right? There was no milestone beyond that 2.1 million uh, high roller milestone that you used to cap on. Uh, I would prefer to see a little bit more added to it for the expense. Uh, if we roll over here to the right a little bit, you'll see we have the high roller milestones split out here by each gold requirement. And of course the new one is down here and it's another 325K more than the previous milestone, which did not give an Emma shard. So really you're spending 650K over the previous milestone to get one more Emma shard. So that's six shards potentially total. I personally won't be targeting that milestone at all throughout this event. I'm going to be targeting really the 1.825 and the 1.25. Uh, two five million milestones and it really just depends on how long my gold lasts me the other ones like i mentioned they haven't really changed but the data is here if you'd like to see save the world is the energy milestone that's the green one here uh, you get two total shards from that uh, you'll spend some cores here and there for you know your 50 core refreshes and stuff to get energy over those two days so that's why the core cost is here because that's what gets you up closer to this 2000 milestone or 2000 energy part of the milestone 2100 is attainable uh, every two days if you spend exactly 2100 per two days and you buy all your 50 core refreshes and go into the event with a little bit of energy if you didn't then you may have to alternate days or milestones here and there whether or not you hit this uh 2100 milestone or the 1860 uh, either way you want to target one of those two if you're getting all your natural refreshes all your free 80 uh, energy uh, energy uh drops from the dailies you'll get to one of these two milestones, basically. World Warrior, of course, is a product of your Alliance participation, and it's really not that big of a deal. I think most Alliances that are in the top 1,000 or 2,000 are pretty much hitting this 171K milestone. I don't think that has really changed all that much, and it is fairly simple to do. Uh, I did check uh, that the uh, milestone payouts and shards and everything are the same and they are so pretty much the exact same if you need help with it though let's say you're not meeting 171k per a day you can look here and see how many points per person is required how many points per day for the alliance and then see you know what the breakdown is or recommended breakdown of these things for the point totals and whatnot the uh, point totals haven't really changed 10 30 85 85 so really you only need this calculator if you're having trouble hitting it. My Alliance is extremely active. A lot of our people are crazy blitzers and do top 100 and stuff. So we hit this like two, three days before it actually ends. So it's for us, it's really not a big deal. 
but I did include a calculator in here. If you'd like to, you can fill in those uh, two red values to figure out, you know, what what's the actual amount that you're trying to get, right? And maybe that's not the target you want. This X19 is pointing to 171K. Maybe you want to make it point to 141K if that's really what you're targeting, or 156, and figure it out from there. And then you can use this, these points, to go and look at your uh, alliance point totals each day to see how well they're doing look at the people at the bottom see if you can help them out encourage them don't don't berate them try to encourage them to you know do their five arena attacks even if they can't do them even if they're just like i hate arena and i never win all you have to do is start it and quit and you get the points right if you cancel out of the game if you completely hard close the game it will not give you the points though in arena so fyi you do need to quit the fight in order to get those points. All right, so let's get back here. When we're doing predictions, I like to kind of figure out like, well, how much can I actually do? Uh, if you go down to the bottom here, I added gold calculators with some examples. The first one here I think is pretty reasonable. I actually started with about 11.5 million. So I'm gonna put my 11.5 in here. I'm going to spend 1.825 per day. And now I can see here, I'm going to be at a deficit of about three and a half million, which means I'm not going to meet my goal of 126 shards at the bottom here. So either I need to get more gold through offers or get lucky with an orb drop, <laughs> something, or I need to change my expectations. And in order to do that, all you got to do is hit the drop down here choose a different value you can see here it's dropping the total amount right there's a 600k difference between the 1.825 and 1.25 million uh, payouts so you do that a couple of times and what will happen is, is it'll update and it'll give you a more reasonable expectation of what you should be doing so if these last ones change to 1.25 million for me you can see the values I'm getting more of these in the green and the reason why is because I have the money to make it right so now I'm like oh now I'm only a 1.25 million dollars deficit right well that may be made up on other ways and maybe it's an offer maybe i get a couple lucky gold drops along the way i don't know i get a gold orb every day or so uh so maybe i'll get lucky on one of those but this is just meant to be a quick way of calculating what's your current money how much do you have pull all your gold orbs or whatever figure that out at the start and then figure out how much are you spending a day uh, if i spend 1.825 million today and 1.25 million tomorrow and then keep alternating between those until i basically get really low on gold uh, how, how sustainable is that to keep getting these shards to get 122 versus somebody who's willing to spend uh, max amounts over here and get 168 shards at the end but spending you know look at this 29 million more gold than what i'm doing right we go a little bit more to the right and these are just ones that i've set up of course you don't have to use these the idea is you copy this sheet you know hit the drop down button here uh if you can see that uh i don't know if you can but there's it, there's at the bottom of the sheet there's a tab and you hit the arrow and you can say duplicate or copy to and say an existing spreadsheet or a new spreadsheet that you have copy it to your own go ahead and edit these and make them your own right put your numbers in there figure out what you want to do because nobody's going to be doing the exact same thing hell i even forgot to do milestones one day on symbiote spider-man and i kicked myself over you know missing out on a couple of shards and it's not a big deal over 28 days but if you're really close to hitting that next star level it's gonna be crucial so the idea is here plan it out this particular one right here is 128 shards total and that plus the shards that we get up here from the other two right the energy shards and the world warrior milestone shards that plus 128 will actually get you what you need to get four star emma assuming you have zero shards on her now that's important because that means you need 16.2 million to go into this event plus getting 1 million a day for 28 days to make exactly the amount of gold that you needed to hit 128 shards and hit a four four star emma frost uh that's going to be really tough to do for a lot of players especially if they aren't buying her that's that's the bare minimum right now if we get any events special events that give us extra gold uh, gold orbs or gold in the milestones we might have a better shot at getting these and getting higher on some of them so my recommendation is that instead of doing like like i have here where you do 1.825 then 1.25 1.825 i think the best thing to do 
is to always start with the 1.825s and start doing those for the first several days and then kind of gauge again where you are. And if you can keep sustaining it, keep doing it. And the reason why is because if you get down here towards the end and you actually do get some good drops on gold or some events, you know, come up and you get more gold, um, you can keep spending that 1.825 million instead of 1.25 and keep getting those shards. Whereas if all that drops back here and then you have a bunch of gold left over at the end of the event, you're not gonna get any more Emma, miles, Emma Milestone shards for it, right? So I think it's smart to continue paying as much as you can into it every day and hitting one of these two goals, depending on what your gold bank is, um, and keep maxing it as much as you can in order to get the most out of it because I think we're gonna see some events uh, the the uh, swarm event is going to come and give us a little bit more gold per day because we're going to get all the energy from that and be able to use it on his nodes. So I think we're going to get a little bit more here and there. And so that'll make this, say, this gap of 1.25 million here for me uh, a little bit easier to bridge. Right. So that's the idea of this whole calculator. The uh, the calculator up here is meant to be these yellow ones. Just go ahead and change them. So if you have a four star Emma already, put that in here. If you have a zero star Emma, put zero here and put zero shards on her. Or maybe you bought an orb for 675 cores and you got 12 shards. Put that here. And what that'll tell you is your total current shards. Uh, and then over a 14 day average, you know, based on this, what are you getting? 28 average is the whole thing here. And it's being fed in. And then it's saying, how many days are in the event? Okay, how, how long will it take you to get three stars, right? Well, that's negative 23 days. So it shouldn't take you too long to get to 100 shards total. But then to get four, uh, four stars for me, you know, I've already done these, right? So that's why these show negative. Yours are going to be positive if you haven't gotten to the star level yet. And then you can see here, I'm not at five stars yet. But in about a week, at this pace, I should get her to five stars. Now the problem here is, is when you get above 28 days, they go red. So I put some conditional formatting on this that covers that so that it marks those things in red when you're not able to get it with the remainder of time in the event. So if this number is greater than the number of days left in the event, it goes red because what it's telling you is you need to get more shards somehow, whether it's spending more gold or whatever, in order to hit that star level. And the idea is to kind of give you an expectation of, well, look, I would need another eight days, eight and a half days of this event as it is in order to get six stars. And I'm not going to be able to do that, especially with what I'm getting right now. So that's the idea. I have these set up right now to pull directly from my roster sheet for the Emma information, but you can just overwrite them and then the formulas will update with your info. So go ahead and do that. The maximum shard is just for reference here. This is if you were to max out all the gold shards, energy shards of World Warrior. It is total of 220. Uh, Symbiote Spider-Man for reference was 192 because he had 28 less shards because there's one less milestone shard that he could get every day for 28 days. So I think that covers everything. If you're interested in the daily gold calculation, I have the exact same calculator here that I had on Symbiote Milestones. However, I did update it a little bit for myself uh, just to say, you know, what's my war income? Uh, you can edit these values and see how the formulas are built and try to figure it out. It's, it's not too hard. It's just using a couple of things. Some of these won't change. Like everybody gets the exact same money for their daily objectives uh, if you're doing more than the 50 core refreshes for energy then you may be able to get a little bit more than 200k uh, but you have to do that consistently right that's 28 days of that so if you're going to spend 100 cores every day on another 120 energy well you need to keep doing it and keep it up in order to sustain that gold income and actually count it towards your long-term milestones so keep that in mind but this is uh largely very similar to the symbiote spider-man event i think everybody's really familiar with that and has already seen it so i just tried to throw this together and help out uh trying to understand you know what the expectations are and for me i know right now uh, there's no way i'm going to bridge the gap between five and six stars right i need about 200 and 30 shards to make it to uh, <laughs> six stars on her right now. So that's not happening, of course. And uh, of course, with the 
220 max, it, it can't, it's impossible. So I just want to set the expectations, make sure everybody understands what's in it, and uh, really try to help you guys focus on targeting what you want to get out of it, right? That's that's really the purpose of this. And, you know, if you come down here and you say, oh, I really want to hit, you know, four stars on her and I already got some because maybe I bought an offer or something like that, you want to figure it out and use, use these gold calculators to figure out how much you need to spend a day versus how much you actually have. Um, check it out and try it these two are just for reference but you can use them as well take your pick it's up to you what you want to do with these they're just copies of each other but i think this is really helpful for understanding how the calculator works and what the expectations are so hope you guys enjoyed it i know i enjoy doing these spreadsheets all the time and uh, it's really funny to see all the people that uh, enjoy them as well so uh, if you do like it uh, let me know you can always dm me and uh, on discord or come join the sanctuary or whatever you want to do uh, you can always find me if you need to but y'all have a good night thanks for watching and i'll see you later